Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this camera doesn't look the best, but anyways, um, I posted a picture of me. Um, I don't know if this light will come on here. I got my laundry drying in the back, but well, I guess it's a little bit better. Anyways, guys, I know it's late at night. Um, just got out of the shower. I got my laundry hanging here drying behind me, but posted a picture of me clean shaven. Um, I'm clean shaven now. Uh, a lot of people can't look good with this, but I look good with this. And um, so anyways, I just want to say briefly here before I go hit the sack, um, I feel nice and rejuvenated. I got me a nice shower. I got me a nice shave. And <clears throat> it's nice to be able to shave your head and shave your beard and get the uh, coconut oil. Uh, and uh, this is the coconut oil I use. You can get it at Walmart. It's like 10 bucks. It's organic, unrefined coconut oil by Jason. And this really is a great aftershave. I never knew that coconut oil was such a great natural aftershave. It's not abrasive to the skin. I, uh, I, only, I can only use hypoallergenic products and natural products. And ever after, uh, since I discovered coconut oil, it's been a great thing for my skin to moisturize my skin. Uh, and the dandruff problems that I've had in the past uh, felt much healthier. My scalp and skin feels much healthier with just being able to shave my head and have the coconut oil penetrate my skin. And it's good for you. Coconut, coconut is good for you. Coconut oil uh, and uh, coconut milk. Uh, coconut juice, anything with coconut. It's a God-given superfood. It's, it's really good. And uh, I'm going to be using coconut oil for the rest of my life because it has really done good for my skin. It really is a great thing for the skin. Great natural moisturizer from God. And uh, I love the way that it smells. I love the way that it what it does for my skin. But anyways, <clears throat> people might ask what I have behind me here. I got my privacy curtain, but I got some laundry. My leisure suits are up there drying. I like to hand dry those because they don't shrink. But anyways, today I really didn't do much. I was lounging around in the van. It was a nice cool day in Chicago yesterday. Um, and I was just thinking about what I'm going to be doing in my life. Uh, the, I've, I felt that I needed to shave my beard and, and shave my head to, to look uh, rejuvenated, brand new, and also to be nice and clean cut to get out there for the workforce. And uh, this is a great look to be clean shaven and clean cut when you're going back into the workforce. Um, so I just want you guys to please pray for me in Jesus' name for my luck and success, financial success, and finding a job. Find, uh, pray that I find the job that is good for me and that is going to be able to provide me the finances that I need for my life and my needs. Please pray and just send out some positive energy vibes with your auras, uh, good luck vibes. I'm <clears throat> getting ready to get back into the workforce. <clears throat> I'm getting a late start, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to be enjoying this nice, cooler weather here in Chicagoland before the heat comes pretty soon. And I'm going to savor every moment of it. Um, I hope that this summer is not as hot as last summer. Uh, heat and humidity has been a big, big problem and struggle for me here in the Midwest. So... Anyways, guys, I just want to let you guys know I'm doing okay. I just wanted to pop in real quick um, and let you guys know that I'm doing all right. And um, 
I'm going to be getting back to work soon. Hopefully making some money and replenishing my life. Um, it's just part of life. We all have to work. And we all have to be able to save money to do the things that we need to do. That's just part of how life is and the system is. And we all have to play a part in that. And we all are like a cog in a wheel. We all fit somewhere in, in life. You know? uh, my focus is not going to be social media. It's just going to be getting back to work and <clears throat> surviving. We're living in some very scary times right now. <clears throat> Gas is going up exponentially. How you doing, Tim? Gas is going up. Things are going up. Just the other day, coming up into Chicagoland. Um, gas prices here are pretty much five fifty to five seventy five a gallon in most places now, and rising. <clears throat> so, when I came up from um, <coughs> the trip. I got gas for El Paso and El Paso 405. I checked today, it was about 422. And the gas prices are drastically rising. Um, yeah. In Hannibal, Missouri, when I went down uh, to Texas in December, it was, um, yeah, five in Michigan, but. In uh, Hannibal, Missouri, when I went down on my snowboarding trip to El Paso, it was two sixty nine a gallon. And I just checked in Hannibal, Missouri, and it's four twenty eight a gallon. It's almost almost two dollars more a gallon. Um, it's just going up day by day by day. It's going up, and and in Joliet, Illinois. It went up real crazy. I mean, the other day I checked, and I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it could have been 489. Uh, but then I seen today was five, almost 550. So the gas prices here are pretty much on par with some parts of California. And with what's going on with with the war, <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it's scary. How you doing, Randy and Tim? It's 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 scary. You know, I used to be able to get um, a chicken, chili chicken wrap last year. And it was three dollars and sixty-six cents, and then today it rose to five dollars and twenty-four cents at my Indian place. And even uh, the rice dishes, they used to be. Uh, I mean, everything's going up. I mean, this has come to the point where restaurants cannot have prices on menus, and if they do, the price could change day by day depending on how much they pay for their meat and product spices on that day to replenish uh, their uh, their inventory. Uh, that's how crazy this world has gotten, that most restaurants, majority of them do not have prices on the menus. And like I said, if they do, they're subject to change. Um, when it comes to specialty food products like seafood and high-end seafood, crab legs, forget about it. I mean, that's even almost non-existent in um, buffets. Well, our standard of, of, of life has gone way downhill. Our quality of life has gone way downhill, and there's no end in sight. So basically... The listener, Gerald Salente, they're saying there's going to be a 20% or more inflation. In other words, inflation has not reached its peak yet. 
it's going to go up more. And the way it's going right now, you know, gas is on par to be 6 to $7 a gallon. Pretty much. And where does it stop? Where does it end? I mean, is there an end to this? Well, you know, there's a beginning and an end to everything. And uh, it's scary. With the gas prices as high as they are now and rising, with as high as food now is and rising and rent, uh, <clears throat> it's just pretty downright scary. We all need to pray and make the best of what we got, and that's about it. It's just getting downright scary, you know. Well, anyways, guys, uh, I got to get out of here and get some rest. Uh, um just a quick pop in, let you guys know I'm doing all right. I hope you guys are doing okay. But the bottom line is, there's stuff going on right now in the world, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy what's going on. It's downright crazy. You know, with... Uh, the way the world is going and, and, and what's the whole uh, the whole situation you know so basically that's about it that's all I want to talk about Trump warned yeah yeah Biden yeah yeah that's about it you know, the combination of the pipeline being cut off and, uh, and, and, you know, uh, and the, uh, uh, we're not buying Russian oil because of the war. With the combination of all that, you know, it's, um, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, I just want to do a quick pop in and uh, take it from there. So, uh, that's about it. Alright guys, have a good day. See you guys later.